I've literally been stood here for the last 20 minutes watching hel helicopters take off and land. It's pretty awesome. Okay, it's Monday today and we're heading to downtown to hopefully catch a boat ride. And then we don't know what we'll do after that. But first, the subway. Um, I'm now on Broadway again and I'm just going to have a wander up and just see if I can find anything else to do. Um, David's gone home as I talked about, I may have talked about earlier, um, just because it's too hot. Um, so it's just me and when the Oculus building, I have no idea what it was, but it looks like a, um, kind of a station and connection points between the World Trade Centers um, and just some kind of main hub uh, for that area, that financial district. So that was interesting. Um, now, probably. I don't know what I'm going to do, but so, we'll just explore. So I made my way to the Brooklyn Bridge, and that's that behind me there. Um, I just wanted to kind of chat because um, <laughs> I was sat outside um, Beam, wherever, um, just on on the free Wi-Fi that's not theirs, but it's the stores. <coughs> just because I was contacting home, um, and I saw other people sitting outside. I think waiting for Casey. They they look pretty obvious. Uh, Matt came out. Don't, don't, if you don't know who Matt is, um, he's the kind of co-founder of Beam, um, and Jack, who is one of the prominent members or employees. Um, <laughs> Jack noticed. Jack noticed me. I think he assumed I was wait, waiting for Casey and gave me some weird looks. I think. I think the whole prospect of celebrities and the fact that you'd wait for someone who doesn't know you kind of dawned on, my, dawned on me as a bit weird today. Um, just because I felt like I was being judged for that today and I, one I wasn't doing it but two I feel like yesterday I, I was kind of interested um, in that and you know if, if Casey came out I'd be like hey he wouldn't knew, know who I was he wouldn't probably give a crap um, even though I've had a window into his life the last two years or especially what he's put on YouTube anyway but yeah I just thought that um, it's something I wanted to talk about. Um, I just thought it was really interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm now gonna go and walk over the Brooklyn Bridge because sun's setting. Um, gonna have hopefully some nice views of the city and then possibly come back, go to Times Square, and then go home. But we'll see. Everything's always changing. So I'm halfway across the bridge and I can't bother to walk the other half um, because now I have to turn around anyway. So I'm to head back. The real deep I love exploring cities at night. I think it's the best way to do it. Um, it's just so quiet around here at the moment. There is still quite a lot of traffic, but not as much. Um, but I can walk, I can talk, it's nice and cool. <sighs> However, I've just looked, looked, looked on Google Maps and I'm quite a way away from Times Square. So I haven't really got a grip on this whole city thing. Um, so it's probably going to be another half an hour walk and I'm going to try and find some food on the way.
here we are, stuck back in the middle of Times Square. I don't know how long that took me. About 30 minutes to do however many blocks, but my feet are killing me. And now, time to go home. <laughs>